Yogis, welcome back to Shore Yoga. Today we are going to be going through a full 20 minute yin class and we're going to start today in our seated meditation. So find a comfortable seat, go ahead and close your eyes and just follow your breath. can tell yourself, inhale, I am breathing in, exhale, I am breathing out. So for this practice, we're going to be using our natural breath. We're going to be holding poses for a few minutes at a time. And I just want you to remember in this practice to really honor your body. So if you ever feel any sort of pain, you can always come out of it. But today we're just going to practice leaning into discomfort. So with the eyes still closed, remaining in a seated position, you can begin to extend the legs long out in front of you. So I'm going to have my student here, Adele, who's helping me out today. She's going to turn sideways on the mat. We'll both extend our legs nice and long. On our next inhale, we'll take the arms up into the sky, lengthen the spine, and then exhale to fold forward over our straight legs. Now in this yin style practice, we're going to take the first 10 breaths to kind of just observe the body. So see where you might be flexing still, where you might be clenching. So you can start from your foundation at your feet, unflex the feet. You can release the quads, maybe by keeping a slight bend in the knee. You can soften the shoulders, just let them drop. You can release any grip that you might have with your hands. Maybe you can slightly tuck the chin. And just breathe. So today in our practice in this 20 minute yin, we're simply going to be working our way up the body. So we're starting here in the seated forward folds, working on our hamstrings, our low back. And eventually we'll move into a different pose, working into the hips. And one of the reasons that we hold these poses for such a significant period of time is because it takes our body almost three whole minutes to come out of that fight or flight stage. So again, if you start to feel that discomfort or that agitation, just remember that in our yoga practice, we choose response with breath. Inhale, I am breathing in. Exhale, I am breathing out. See if over the next few breaths you can start to create a little bit more space here. Maybe you can bring the heart down a little closer. Maybe you can start to tuck the chin. Maybe it's as simple as unclenching the jaw. So we're not going to be here for very much longer. You 
we're going to take three more deep belly breaths. So filling up belly ribs and chest, holding it at the top, and then exhaling all the way out. After the third breath, you'll begin to slowly roll up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, taking the neck up last, and then sitting up nice and tall. And you can maintain the eyes closed and just notice the sensations in the body here before we move on. Good. Now, as a counterpose to this, we're gonna lean back onto our hands, so the fingertips point toward the hips, and then we can simply maybe roll the shoulders back and arch the spine, maybe look up if that feels okay in the body, good. Or you can come into a reverse table, so Adele is going to plant the soles of her feet down so both knees point up to the sky. Good, plant your hands about six inches behind you. Good, and then take your feet hips with distance. Good, and then press into your hands and feet evenly, lift the hips and the glutes. Good, and come into a full reverse table to get that full shoulder extension as a counter pose. Good, take another breath here, keeping the head in line with the spine. Good, and then exhale to lower all the way back down. Good, and then if you feeling a little bit stronger today, you can come into full reverse plank by lifting the hips, taking the balls of the feet down to the mat and dropping the head all the way back. And then we exhale to lower back down, and now we'll make our way into our next pose. So as I said before, we're actually going to be working our way up the body. So now we're going to make our way into the hips. We're going to be practicing two different versions of this pose today, uh, which is called our half pigeon, otherwise known as sleeping swan and more restorative practices. So I'm going to have Adele come into her tabletop position on all fours, hands and knees. Take your right leg up and back. Good. Begin to bring your right knee to the outside of the right wrist. So that knee is gonna come all the way down to the mat. Bring the knee all the way down to the mat, good. And then that right ankle comes in line with the left wrist, good. So we're going to adjust her here now. Notice how the knee comes outside of the hip line. So she wants to shift her weight forward so her hips come evenly, square the shoulders to the top of the mat, good. Now for more intensity, She's gonna to try to bring the shin as parallel as she can to the top of the mat. For less intensity, she will tuck that heel closer into the body, extending this full left leg back, getting that opening in the left hip flexor. Good, so now let's square the hips. Good, so shift the weight, go, good. Lengthen the spine here, and then exhale to fold forward over your legs, good. So we're gonna keep her here. Now, to come into the modified version of this, if you have any trouble with your knees, if there's too much pressure on the knees, or you'd simply just like to take this on your back, go ahead and come all the way down and then plant the soles of the feet on the mat. You're gonna begin to cross the right ankle over the left knee. And option one is just going to be to use the right hand to press the right knee away from the bottom. Option two is going to bring the left thigh into the chest interlace the fingers around that left thigh, and then use that right elbow to still press that right knee away. And then wherever we are, we soften. So again, we take the first 10 breaths here to just settle into the pose and breathe. Scan the body. Notice where you can soften. So again, maybe you can take, if you're in this traditional pigeon where Adele is today, maybe you can take some of the weight out of the forearms and drop the heart down a little bit lower. Maybe you can pull the left thigh into the chest or press the knee further away. Just breathe. So while we're in these poses, you might start to notice that all kinds of thoughts and 
maybe feelings are coming up for you and it could be physical sensations as well and this is where we practice that that yoga our, our response with our breath so acknowledge the sensation acknowledge the feeling but instead of holding on to it let it go with every breath Take three more deep breaths here. Good. Now after the third breath, if you're lying on your back, you're gonna slowly begin to release the fingers and let the sole of the foot come down onto the mat. You'll unwind the legs. And then as a counter pose here, we're gonna come into windshield wiper with the knees. So you're going to take the feet to the outer edges of the mat and then windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Good. Now, if you're in traditional pigeon, the way I'm going to bring Adele out of this is she's going to slowly walk the hands back up. Beautiful. And then from here, you're gonna shift your weight over onto your right hip and now swing that left leg around in front of you. In the same way, you'll take your feet to the outer edges of the mat. So plant the soles of the feet to the outer edges. Good, lean back onto the hands. Take the stance nice and wide. So each foot to the outer edge, good. And then begin to drop the knees over from side to side, maybe turning the chin in the opposite direction of the knees. Beautiful, perfect. And then to come into the other side, she'll simply swing her legs back around and find her tabletop position. Tabletop, tabletop. Good. From your tabletop, take the left leg up and back. Good. Now bring the left knee to the outside of the left wrist until it makes contact with the outer edge of the mat. Good. And then you're going to bring that right ankle, I'm sorry, left ankle in line with that right wrist. Good. Extending that right leg back and then shifting the hips so that they square to the front of the mat. So shifting the hips over to the right so they're nice and even. Beautiful. And then she's taking the shin as parallel as she can to the top of the mat, inhaling for length, roll the shoulders down the back. Good. And then exhale to begin to walk the hands all the way out, softening. Good. Maybe you can tuck the chin here. You can untuck the back toes. And we'll start her practice here. Okay. Now to come into this on the other side, we'll do the same thing. Come down onto our backs. Cross the left ankle over the right knee and either work on pressing that left knee away from the body or interlacing the fingers around the right thigh and pulling it into the chest while pushing the knee away. And now we breathe. And once again, because we are opening up parts of the body where we tend to hold sometimes our traumas or experiences, you may start to notice all kinds of things bubbling up into the surface of your mind. So come back to your breath. Soften. And again, just practice leaning into that sensation while honoring the body.
we'll take three more deep belly breaths here. Filling everything up. And letting everything go. Wherever we are, we're going to slowly begin to unwind. So again, if you're on your back, plant the sole of the right foot down, unwind the legs in the windshield wiper. And then the lovely Adele over here is going to begin to walk her hands back up, shift her weight over onto her left hip, swing her legs around, and windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Good, and then we are all going to meet on our tabletop position on our hands and knees. So if you're coming down from your back, you're going to turn yourself over onto one side. Use your top arm to press yourself up and we'll come onto our hands and knees. Then once you get here, you can take a few cat cows, inhaling to sink the belly, blossom the hips, roll the shoulders back and look up, exhaling to tuck the pelvis and the chin and round into the spine. So our next pose that we're going to practice today is called our puppy pose. So I'm going to have Adele come into a neutral spine here. And she's going to begin to walk her hands out as far in front of the mat as they go. And she's going to drop, begin to drop her heart all the way down. Good. And because she's got a really open heart space, so she's got a really open thoracic spine, cervical spine, shoulders and lats, she's going to take her chin down to the mat. And she's going to bring the biceps in line with the ears. She's going to settle into this position. Now, if this becomes too intense for you, you can always take the forehead down to the mat, which is the variation that I'm going to take. And if that still is too much sensation for you, you can always rest your head on a block right underneath your forehead. So I'll go ahead and come into the position and we'll hold for our rounds of breath. Just maintain the hips stacked over the knees and soften where you can. And just keep in mind that we always, in our yoga practice, maintain our non-judgment. We practice contentment with wherever we are in our practice. Good. We'll take three more deep breaths here, filling the belly all the way up and then letting go all the way out. And then after the third breath to come out of this pose, wherever you are, you're going to begin to sink your hips back to your heels. Take your knees together as close as you can, taking the forehead down to the mat and the arms down by your sides for a child's pose, rounding into the upper back for a nice counter pose to this heart opener. And you can slowly begin to plant the hands underneath the shoulders and gently press yourself back up to seated. And then once we make our way here, we're going to come back down onto our bottoms, bend the knees and come all the way down onto our backs. Good. Then we'll take the soles of the feet together. Let the knees splay out to each side. Maybe take one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Follow the rhythm of your breath. And 
Now from this position, you can slowly bring the knees back together through center. And now begin to extend the legs long out on the mat, letting the feet sway out, letting the arms go wide. Maybe you roll the shoulder blades under. And just begin to melt into the mat, Shavasana. It's the most important pose that you can do in any yoga practice. This is where you get to give yourself the gift of being fully present. And just melting into your mat. Slowly begin to bring the awareness back to your breath. You can start to invite movement back into your fingers and toes. Maybe rotate the ankles and wrists. Turn the neck from side to side. And we'll take our arms up over our head. Take a big giant stretch. And then exhale to side out through the mouth. Gently begin to turn yourself over onto one side into a fetal position, using your bottom arm as a pillow. Take a moment here and practice some gratitude for your breath, for your practice, for your body, and anything else you'd like to be grateful for. Using that top arm and maintaining the eyes closed, begin to slowly press yourself back up into that seat where we first began. And you can bring your hands together in prayer at heart center. The light, the love, the student, and the teacher in me honors the light, the love, the student, and the teacher in you. Thanks for joining us today, yogis. Namaste.